Hello, it is Sunday, September 23rd. Nuari and I are at the library getting books for my classroom for a classroom book a day. If you are new here, my name is Natalie Priester. I teach middle school English and a class of web, and in my blog, I take you in my classroom every day. So stick around. This week in my class, we are working on our Read 180 System 44 software. We're doing our rotations this week. So it's a pretty chill week in my class. Mommy. I'm also getting ready to go to Alaska for my first keynote. So I'm spending a lot of time working on that keynote. A book. Also, a book. You got a book? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go back to looking for books. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog. You're gonna wait for me? Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, it is Monday, September 24th. In my English classes this week, we are working in our System 44 workbooks. Doo -doo -doo, that's our class work. But to get class started, we read Ada Twist, Scientist for our classroom book a day, and we talked about the significance of getting people in color into the sciences. Our journal was your with the proof O-U-R. And then our whole group lesson, we read an interview with a film director from the Night of the Living Dead. If you are old, then you remember those old VHS tapes. Uh, we read the interview with the director and we answered some questions about it and then I split the kids and group one sat with me in the back table and we did a small group lesson where they worked on the key idea and supporting details while the other kids worked on their student applications on the computer. In web today I borrowed Mr. Lara's classes, we flip flopped, we're making on our about me globe sphere things and we did the activity again where they went back and forth making a decision. Here we go. Are you more like a fireplace? Or a campfire. Fireplace is inside the house. Campfire is when you're camping outside. Inside. And then we did the give one get one symbols activity. The assistant superintendent and my principal just came through to observe our class, and we did awesome. Say good job, guys! Yay! Yay. <laughs> So I just got done doing a webinar for EdTech team. It's on social emotional learning. It was great. I got to answer a bunch of questions with really interesting panelists. Yeah, you'll be able to watch it on YouTube. I will put the link up and down for you. Now we're gonna go have some dinner and play. Hello, today is Tuesday for Classroom Book A Day. In my class, we read Soccer Hour, which is about a soccer practice. Our journal for today is Who? and the proof is he. Then we had our circle. We haven't had circle in a long time and the kids talked about scars they had on their bodies. After that, I broke the kids into the two groups. So I met with group two and group three. Those are my two groups that need more support. And I ran a small group with them. We identified the key idea on supporting details of the interview with the director of the Night of the Living Dead. In web today, we did another lesson working on building our spears. Today we talked about happiness, and so they did this voting called Face Your Feelings, so they held up happy or sad faces when I said things. Finding out you're moving to China. Oh, oh, China. Yes. Dad, your grandparents coming to live with you. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Then we went through a list from the 50 habits of happy people, and they marked off which ones were relevant to their lives. Then they began working on their sphere to create um, a list or drawings that represented things that made them happy. So tonight I was cooking dinner and I had a hard boiled egg. No. And oh, we had noodles for dinner. We had noodles for dinner? Daddy. And Daddy was here? No. What else do you have to say in the vlog? Daddy. What bad word did you say? Abacata. She said, oh shoot. I said it, and then she said it, and now she keeps saying it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay, she's gonna start vlogging now because now she's telling you what she eats for dinner. So, 
in the evenings, we'll just have Numari take over the vlog. <laughs> Hello, today is Wednesday. Today in my class, we had a little theme with robots. We read the book, Little Bot and Sparrow, which is about friendship for our classroom book a day. Then it's Wednesday, so it's game day, and we played a game called Robots. It's one we use in web, where kids are programming the robots in front of them and making them move around the room. Of course, we did our reading in our novels, and we did our journal. The word was whom little confusing but we went with it and then our classwork is something very exciting I have a friend who is a horror film director and we are reading about fear in our system 44 books right now and we just got done reading an interview with a horror film director so we are going to interview a real horror film director in my class next week using a Google Hangout. So today my students may worked with partners to come up with questions to ask the film director. I had them do it in Google Slides and then they presented them to the class. They're very excited about the interview next week. In my web classes, well, Mr. Laura and I messed up our plans and we both taught the same thing yesterday. So today we'll let the kids work on their global me um, panels to help get them caught up. It's after school on Wednesday, so we have web club. We are going through these papers from when we did web orientation because Mr. Laura and I did not know what we were doing. And we are trying to match 625 seventh graders with their web leaders who are in the class, this is not in the class. It's a giant disaster, but these girls are making it happen. Help, help, help. Mommy, don't bring it. I got you. Hello, it is Thursday in my class day for book a day. We read Rudas, had more Spanish in it than I was anticipating. So I had to enlist the help of my co-teacher and then struggle through it for one period. It's by the same illustrator as Thunder Boy. Uh, we read our novels, of course. We wrote in our journals. Our word today was who's and then our proof was who is. After that, we did some workbook work for System 44. Well, not workbook. First, we did our whole group direct instruction. We were working on compound words. We played it all say cowboy, then you say cowboy. Cowboy? Cowboy. Cowboy? 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 After that, I broke into small group. I took group one with me to the back circle. And in the back circle, we did a small group lesson that extended on the compound words lessons. In web today, I did a circle day so I had my kids make a big circle. We did a check-in, we played where the wind blows, and we had a goldfish discussion again. I think we're gonna make that a routine in our web classes. I'm wearing my web shirt because today we had our first pep rally and my web leaders wanted to be visible as student leaders on campus and a couple of them went to help at the event. Today I also had a meeting with my principal because I'm getting evaluated this year now. It's my third year at this school and it is my third year being evaluated because when I went out on maternity leave, it messed up my evaluation cycles. Hello, it is Friday. Our classroom book of the day is Be Quiet. I didn't notice it, but it's by the same author as Mother Bruce, because we saw a little bear on the back. I love the coincidence that I keep grabbing books by the same authors. We did our reading, of course. Our journal was whose, and the proof is his. And then after that, we did circle. Our circle question for today was, would you rather be in a movie or would you rather watch a movie? Because that's connected to our horror film work that we're doing. And then I met with group two while the rest of the class did the student app. And then I met with group three. We were doing the same lesson as yesterday, which is the recognizing and using compound words. I like the small group because today I noticed like I had a kid who when we were splitting the compound words into two, he was struggling so I just kept him after, did a quick mini lesson with him and then my groups are differentiated based on the kids Lexile scores and so my group three is my group that needs the most help and I was able to break things down really simply, even go over the definitions of the words that, words that made up the compound words with that group. In my web class, Mr. Lara pulled our kids who helped at the pup rally yesterday and and he debriefed with them while I brought the rest of the kids into my class and we did our little circle structure. We did Beat the Feet, which is a game we've done before, and then we did Honey, If You Love Me, You'll Give Me a Smile because my kids came in in just a down mood. I think they were tired from the week and that made everybody just happy and giggly and it just improved the moods of the kids so they went out to lunch on a positive note and there's a DJ out there today too, so they're going to have a great day. Oh, another cool thing, I was given some Chromebook cases by our technology director. Oh, let me dig them out. See? 
And he said to give them to my kids just as rewards for being awesome. So in each class today, I'm giving my top readers those. I don't normally incentivize reading at all. Um, I don't think that's an effective strategy, but I do think it's a really good idea just to give kids random rewards for doing awesome stuff because it's just fun sometimes. I told them like, this isn't gonna be expected, this doesn't happen all the time, but today we have these cool surprises. We're out to eat dinner before. Oh, that's yours? By the way, she carried that high chair out here. We're out to eat a quick dinner before a weekend of work. Good morning, it's Saturday. I'm heading to the library. Noari's not with me. She's with her sitter who's finally back in town. I've got to get this keynote like ironed out and caught up on a bunch of stuff. So I'm using an old college strategy, locking myself in. It's now five o'clock. I am at my second coffee shop of the day today. I've been working and working. I've got my notes all done, rearranged all around. I'm getting my outline on the dock. Found they gave me some feedback, so now I just shift everything. <laughs> but it's gonna happen. I'm gonna figure this out. I think I finally have it like in my head more solid than I did before. Did I tell you guys, by the way, it's next week. Mm -hmm. Next week, hour long keynote. Go me. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. You want to say bye bye? Good job, sweetheart. <laughs> Telling me what we need? <laughs> <laughs>